Hello and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at a beer from uh, a brewery which we don't often see in uh, the beers we don't often see from this brewery in, in the area where I live. Uh, it's a, a called Ushitora, Ushitora Brewing, and they opened a beer bar quite a while ago and then later opened another beer bar apparently very close to it and between those two beer bars they have apparently the second largest number of taps in Japan after the famous uh, Popeye which has like 70 or 80 taps I can't remember uh, but uh, uh, so two beer bars very close to each other and in 2014 they opened a brewery but not in Tokyo uh, in uh, Tochigi. I'm sorry, I should have said the beer bars are located in uh, uh, in uh, Shimo Kitazawa, which is on the apparently on the Odakyu Odawara line. Uh, I've never been there, uh, but I've heard people talk about it as quite a quite a place to go. Uh, and apparently, quite expensive. The beers are not cheap, uh, but they do have a lot of fans. Um, and some rather well-known brewers had worked there, uh, including Luc Bim Lafontaine, who has since moved on back to uh, Quebec to uh, found Godspeed Brewing, and also Uetake-san, who uh, worked at uh, Koedo, and now Hop Kotan in Hokkaido, which is a highly regarded newer brewery. Uh, on Rate Beer, Ushitora has 285 beers listed, as of uh, July 2022, and on untapped, 719 beers listed as of July 2022. Uh, I think that 719 must include a lot of duplicates. Um, they number their beers uh, and uh, at the brewery, but not on the uh, individual cans or bottles. Uh, and uh, so I think there are fewer than 700 that they've actually produced. Um, so the beer I'm going to look at today is, uh, I think, a new one for them. It was not listed on Rate Beer before. It's called Otona no Kanbiru, which means canned beer for adults. Quite a name. Uh, no ratings on Rate Beer for this one. Uh, 149 ratings on Untapped, and the average is 3.78. Uh, this is a uh, an IPA classified as an American IPA, uh, 6.5% and uh, 38 international bittering units, and this cost me 677 yen where I bought it. Uh, and again, their beers don't tend to come uh, my way very often. And uh, this is a nice uh, 365 milliliter can, which is 15 milliliters more than the average can from the major brewing companies. Okay, well it's quite full up. Let's see how this one is. An American IPA. As far as I know, Ushitora has kind of made their name on high-powered IPAs. Uh, recently we reviewed uh, their Sanjuku, which is a 10 percent or 100 international bittering units IPA. So this one is kind of cloudy and I cannot see carbonation rising up much from it. Sort of a moderate pastel yellow color with a substantial finger and a half of white foam. Okay. Well, it certainly does have a kind of dank, sort of grassiness aroma. Hmm. If I had to guess, I would guess. Mosaic and Simcoe, maybe. Hop. Uh, it has orange peel in it. Okay. Okay. Canadian malt, hops, and orange peel. Mm. Flavor quite similar. Uh, kind of a thin maltiness. Not ungenerous, but certainly overshadowed by the hops and the bitterness comes in right away. Uh, it's kind of a fresh, sort of zesty, grassiness, uh, dankiness. Yeah, very pleasant. Lightly fruity in mid palate, and then it does leave some substantial bitter tracks at the end here. So uh, this is a very pleasant IPA. 
Uh, tastes kind of uh, U.S. West Coasty. Yeah, very very nice. Yeah. So if you happen to see uh, this beer called Otona no Kanbiru from Ushidore, I'd suggest you give it a go. Um, and, you know, try out other things by them, too, as well. Okay? Uh, that's it for today. Um, and uh, I'll put up a playlist of Ushitora beers. I have just two so far, but I expect there might be more in the future. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Stay healthy. And bye-bye.